Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Plays Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny. I'm your host Lorefent and this Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny PC walkthrough video. We're at part 32 and this time we're going into the Shame Dungeon. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern games like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and more. Last video we went to Dester. We have all four items. We defeated the Shadow Lords. Now let's start the beginning of the end. Now please note I'm going to take the quickest route possible because I did one or two trial runs to make sure everything worked out fine. Let's not waste any more time and go to shame. Now in order to get the shame this is very simple. We're going to go from the castle. It's a really close spot. You're going to need the magic carpet for this. This is a common theme. You're also going to need the grappling hook and uh, the import spell. That's the blink spell. So, there's the castle. We're going to go simply west until we hit the mountains. Then we'll go around south of them or north, depending on... I forgot where it was, but still. It's real simple. I mean, come on. This is the exact same place like Ultima 4, but much more easy to get to, thanks to Magic Carpet. So, once you hit the mountains, go north. Yeah. And uh, go around the mountains after uh, this tip. Uh, go south. And go around again. Follow the river. You get the shame. See, look at that, everyone. Very simple, very easy. And... Uh, oops. Okay, okay. That was bad. Now we're going to go ahead and say the words of power. Now let me uh, make sure I type this right. Yeah, I have my notepad with me, so I'm just uh, juggling two or three things. So that's I-N-F-A-M-A. -A. That's the word of power to enter shame. Now, uh, I'm going to show you the quickest route to get through shame because of... Uh, you uh, guessed it. There's an easy way to actually go through the entire uh, dungeon. So you know what, let's not waste any more uh, time and uh, go on in. And there we go. We're officially inside the Dungeon of Shame. Now uh, this part was a little bit tricky. It took a few uh, times to remember this, but you're going to have to do some uh, climbing and uh, trigger a few uh, switches. This is the only way to get out of this uh, room. Yeah, good news is there's no enemies. When you hear the victory music, that means no foes. So uh, anyways, uh, while I'm uh, trying to go through my uh, notes real uh, quick. Uh, let me explain. Uh, in these layer dungeons layer on, if there's two or more rooms connected, you want to clear a room like that. Uh, reason being is it's uh, very uh, simple. Uh, you see, uh, if you clear, like, for example, room A, that means uh, you go back outside said room A. Then, of course, you do is, is uh, uh, make sure you, uh, you know, rest up and then uh, go back in. Room's already cleared, then you clear out room B. I'll be doing that a lot in Doom, but anyways, I just want to tell everybody a nice tip. And yeah, I'll add that in my uh, Donut Panic Guide in the future. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to climb these rocks. I keep on forgetting. You can climb rocks in dungeons. That's what's very neat about Ultima 5 is uh, some of the uh, tile sets can be very useful to your advantage. In this case, climbing these uh, nice rocks. Just like Wasteland Remaster or those of you who played the original uh, Wasteland. Yeah. Good game. So we're out climbing. Now we're going to hit that. We should be able to trigger it with our magic axe. I think it's uh, this one somewhere here. Yeah, I, I did this two or three times. I keep forgetting. This took me a lot longer and longer. Uh, the previous attempts, of course. There you go. Okay, it gets just did just get triggered. If it's something opened up, uh, we're going to go to a next section. And we're going to try to uh, do that again. So we're going to attack that. And there we go. We uh, did it. So it's just like uh, we're opening our way uh, through the mines. <laughs> I kind of wish it was like this in uh, Ultima Online with Minoc. And there you go. We open the path. There you go. Uh, climb south. And that's it. You should be out of this first room in shame. I believe everybody should be able to climb the rocks. No problem at all. Seriously. And yeah. Make sure you definitely have the crown with you. Because you know, there's our uh, ghosts and such. That's around there. So let's uh, make sure we do this right. And uh, there we uh, go. We uh, did it. This is uh, good news indeed. Okay, let's get the mages in uh, there, and then the first level will officially uh, start that off. Good news is I found a quick way. The other levels are very quickly uh, gone through. That's the good news about shame. This is like a break dungeon before the final dungeon. Oh, yeah, the final dungeon is no joke. Anyways, uh, we got everybody out. Now, uh, this uh, part is uh, simple. However, we're about to run in some uh, serious trouble in a few moments. Let's uh, get a torch. And bust out the uh, gem. I believe we're going to take the first uh, path uh, east. That's the longest. That's the correct way. If you do it, you're going to blow through most of these levels like crazy. Take the long and slow path. Just like being a Jedi Master. Oh boy. Ghosts.
just remember to wear the crown. Seriously, you're going to need it for those ghosts. They love to possess too. Just like wisps, just like demons, just like dragons who like to summon demons that will possess you, those demons. So uh, go uh, south from here on out. You will reach the stairs. The stairs will take you down to seven. And then uh, you just go uh, straight south and you enter another room. So uh, while I'm doing all these uh, stair climbings, uh, let me go ahead and tell everybody that, that head time. Well, actually, almost had time. So uh, there's the stairs, and we're going down. There, there's like I'm just making sure uh, nothing is a uh, trap. Okay, you get down to seven. Uh, once you get down to seven, go straight south. Should be one ladder. When you climb down, you'll be entering a room full of sea serpents and slimes. Uh, this is a uh, I'll probably say hardest room in the dungeon. And if you could complete that room, the last room is a huge joke. Uh, if you have a uh, in fast uh, grave uh, corp cone of energy and you're level eight you'll annihilate everything in sight you'll uh, see why but anyways let's uh, go on down then enter this uh, room That wasn't bad. I taken out the sea serpent slimes. I of course, if I remember correctly, used the quake spell, and I'm gonna have to heal everybody at this uh, point in uh, time. Now, uh, if you uh, pass this room like I did with ease, the uh, next room is a huge uh, joke. So uh, we're about to go into another room on uh, level eight. Reason being is, is we're gonna use a certain direction to get to a secret passageway. That's the only way out in order to get to uh, the underworld. So there we go, when we get everybody together, come on, you wizards are really slow, I should say mages, but you're very powerful. There you have it, we're all done, plus I, their uh, dexterity is uh, alright, but not like the other three. There we go, uh, I side rest up, yeah, make sure everybody's uh, magic is set, yeah, we got 30 magic, I should say max intelligent magic, well, Ulolo got half of that, but that's fine, he's my last uh, ditch healer, and uh, what we're going to do is go around this room, 
and then we're ahead of course uh, south now we're gonna hit the center of the room and that's where we're gonna go ahead and clean it out did it yes I went overboard on the cone of energy and then I saw load the Eton yeah or Eton so anyways I'm gonna loot everything up and replenish my supplies so I'm supposed to not do that but you know what screw it these are like easy monsters to kill and then of course when I uh, did that on the other hand I kicked some butt yeah I will need to uh, definitely rest up a uh, big time yeah I'm gonna be resting outside the uh, dungeon in fact, I'm going to cut out about two more rests before I show you a safe place to actually rest. Yeah, there is one safe place in the underworld to rest up. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's open that up. All right, we're getting some uh, supplies back. Getting my keys, getting a little bit of food. Well, my food supply is like crazy. So uh, after you loot everything up, what you want to do is uh, exactly go uh, east. Resbaying should be at a dead end. Then you uh, search the wall in front of you. The you know, door should be there. And just go through the door, and it's a straight shot out of here. Very simple, very easy. I will uh, definitely, uh, while I'm uh, searching things up, whoa, 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 I got the plague. Yeah, this dungeon is like a break dungeon. It's like uh, in some of these uh, old school uh, RPG games. You get like a break dungeon before you uh, start getting on the harder stuff or the hardest dungeon in the game. Yeah, today's uh, RPGs, many of them doesn't have that at all. There's some that are like real simple on the final dungeon. doesn't challenge you. Not like Ultima 5, which it really tests you big time. So let's get everybody here. Come on, slow pokes. You could go faster. And yeah, I will rest outside and I'll cut that out too. We're almost uh, there. So we're going to do one last thing and we're out of here. I'll admit, this was a fun shame dungeon run. Uh, better than my Ultima Online one. When they added, what mo or I should say, the one of the most nasty elementals there at the time of its uh, original release. Uh, that was uh, fun though going through it, but not like this one though. I had a blast doing this one Well, then and again the cone of energy made things a lot more uh, fun go down the ladder and you're uh, out of here Welcome to the underworld via the shame way so let's rest up quickly there I rested up everybody should be all right uh, Let's go ahead and talk about right now how to get to dungeon doom uh, you want to do is uh, simply uh, go east, I believe it is. And then uh, I think there's a point where you have to uh, blink. Yeah, get that in poor spell ready. That's IP. So we'll follow the mountains until we get to a certain spot. And yeah, make sure you have the magic carpet. You should have it at this point. Otherwise, do not bar go to the underworld because you will get annihilated. Or better yet, you won't make it far. Let's, uh, I think it's, uh, this, I'm trying to make it the right guess. Try not make it the wrong guess. I think it's... Looking okay, there you go. I think it's this is it. Cast, uh, let's see here. You're up, Mariah. You're gonna cast the spell in poor, and we're gonna go east. Cast the spell, we're gonna bypass the mountains on our carpet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, you see that island that is southeast. We're gonna go to it. Unfortunately, there's some rough seas, so good news is we have plenty of hit points. This is not like what I uh, do for my level up, indeed, level up, where I go into seas near Castle Britannia. Kill most of my party officer for myself. And they lose a level. However, when they level back up, they gain some new stats. 
Yeah, see, rough seas. The island of uh, Doom, or I should say, the island that hosts the Dungeon Doom. Yeah, it doesn't play around. This is another time we're going to rest up also. Okay, let's just ignite that. There you go. It's all set. And we're almost there. We're going to get through uh, some lava. I'm going to ditch the uh, magic carpet in a minute. I don't want to lose any. I don't know if you lose it. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get rid of it. Okay, we're going to follow the lava south. And we should get to a dark spot. And yeah, let's see if this is... Okay, this is it. So get off your carpet. Go south. You'll take some uh, burning damage. But I'm going to rest up see if I can for now. I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, okay, no rest there. That's all right. Let's just risk it. Worst case is I'll just rest uh, real quick in the uh, shadow zone. So, yep, just keep on going south. You're going to be taking a lot of damage from lava. However, this is uh, very worth it. Once you uh, get through the lava, there'll be some uh, blackness. Or as I say, you're in some shadows. You cannot move until, uh, of course, you have the amulet. Now, once you're in the darkness, your scream will go with that. Use the amulet. If not, you got to either get out of there or go back where you came from. So we're in the amulet of Lord uh, Bridge. We'll light up the area except for the shadow spots. However, you'll be able to uh, pass through the shadows. So we're going to go a little bit south. It looks like it's dark. However, don't panic. We're uh, near Doom. See, now that center of peace, that's where Doom is at. So we're going to go uh, near it. So here's the deal about the uh, shadow areas. Here's some uh, great news about that. The uh, shadow areas is a great place to rest up. It is actually the safest spot in the underworld. You still get earthquake damages, of course, uh, in between rests from time to time. However, there'll be no enemies there at all since nothing gets past it. In fact, the worst enemies are locked inside of uh, Doom until we use the words of power for it. That'll be for the next video. Anyways, I just want to demonstrate that, but for now, I'm just healing everybody up. So this way we have an official rest. So we're going to probably rest about two more times in order to make sure uh, we're fully healed up. Uh, this is a uh, great spot in case, uh, you know, you're in real danger. In other words, if uh, the Dungeon of Doom or, say, Doom Dungeon is seriously kicking your uh, butt, you need to do is just uh, somehow get out uh, or uh, better yet, I would probably suggest this. If you have, you think you're going to have problems with the Dungeon Doom, look for a nice uh, grassy area to drop off a Moonstone. And then, of course, uh, go there just to uh, get out of there. Yeah, in other words, uh, yeah, use it as an escape point. Me, I'm confident I can handle this dungeon well. And yeah, by the way, you could save in the Underworld. So, I'm going to go ahead and now demonstrate resting. I want to make sure everybody was healed up. So, uh, this way... I rest. I'm going to go ahead and assign Shimino again as guard. Like I said before, I'm going to repeat the strategy for those of you who are just coming in. I want to know. Uh, from here on out, uh, make sure you're, you're a fighter or one of your fighters are healed to full. If you have more than one, then have them take turns this way. They could uh, rest up while you're uh, casters from the avatar, your bards, and of course your mages will get your magic points fully healed. I'm going to try to see if I get that. Okay, no effect. That's fine. And I'm going to just go ahead and put the amulet on again. Yeah, anytime when you rest up, you lose the uh, I am that you're wearing. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this now. So I don't uh, totally blank out. Okay, let's rest up. Let's hold up camp one more time. We'll heal. After we're our, uh, done healing, I'm going to do a recap for this video. This is a strategy I use to make sure uh, everybody's maxed out. And spell points, or say magic points. So I cast more of those, uh, you know, cones of death spells. Or uh, my uh, other characters heal or better yet use the tremor spell. The uh, soften them up before they die spell. <laughs> Alright, Shimino, you're doing good. Yep, no monsters, nothing at all. And uh, let me pop the amulet after that. Once I'm done, it is time to uh, definitely recap this video. So here's a recap for this video. Now, the first thing I did was I showed everybody on how to get to shame. I went through shame, the quickest path, the easiest path to. After I was done with shame, I traveled to the Isle of Doom, used the amulet there, and I have finally arrived at the Doom dungeon entrance. In the last Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny PC walkthrough video, we're going through the Doom dungeon and beat the game to get to the ending. This is it for my Ultima 5 Warriors of Destiny walkthrough part 32 shame dungeon video. This is Lorefent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe.
Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern gaming just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the avatar. Have a good time at this tavern.